Yes. Please join me in welcoming Terry Sweeney. All right. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Uh, Guten Morgen. Oh, Guten Morgen. <laughs> See, there, Terry. I've got something for you. Yes. One for each of you, in fact, now. Okay. <gasps> the new visitor guide. Oh, look at this. Oh. Isn't that nice? And Very nice. I've got enough for everybody in the oh, studio oh, audience. Oh, wow. That's great. Oh, so good. Super. That's great. Marvelous. Oh, so this yes. takes, goes over everything that you have going on in New Ulm. If you are a visitor to New Ulm, everything you want to know is in there. That's okay. great. Now, Terry, tell us, what is your official What's title in New Ulm? Well, it's we a long title. Okay. <laughs> the Convention and Visitor Bureau Manager. Really? Okay. I call myself the tourism guy. It's, well, just, that's, it's well, easier. Yeah, okay. yeah. How long have you been doing this? <laughs> oh, I was a travel agent for 16 years, and I've been doing this for just about 12. Oh, so wow. you have some background as yeah. to what people might want to look for in a community. I always think, what would emotion. I want when I go traveling, which sure. I do quite quite a lot of, actually. Well, having been in New Ulm, I can tell you that your, your efforts have paid off quite handsomely in dividends. Well, I'll take some credit, but it's a lot more from people long ago that set things in motion. Now, see, I'm, I'm, I'm flipping through this. Yes. And the first event that comes up. I, again, Shell's, how ironic. <laughs> Shell's Bach Fest. Yes. And now Shell's Brewery is a prominent fixture, isn't it? I hear it's, in New Orleans. I think it's pretty prominent, yes. <laughs> okay. Because I've never been and I would love to go visit New Orleans. 151 years old. <gasps> is it really? Second really? oldest family brewery in the United States and the oh. biggest brewery in Minnesota. Wow. Really? I six, didn't know that. Well, depending on how you count it, five or six generations. And they produce, from what I've heard, a very fine beer. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Oh. Some friends have told me the same. I understand. <laughs> Probably the same friends I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, Terry, when I was over there, I noticed that there, you have a tremendous amount of activity going on oh. in the community at all times. And I did write down some notes that I brought back. But oh, yes. Did, okay. did, you know, like, right now... Is there a transition going on? Are we got something going on up there at this time, or are we transitioning into the spring, or what? What's going uh, you on? You know, we have almost a festival each month. Really? We oh. just would have finished uh, Shell's Bach Beer Fest, ton of fun, and Fasching, a German Mardi Gras. That was early in March. Oh, and what's that called? A Fasching. Fasching. Yeah. I'll be okay. It's, it's a hoot and a half. <laughs> and then the, the month of March is a lot of shows. But what will the viewers will be able to attend is the home show. Like a lot of towns, we have a home oh, show, okay. but. You know, the, mm -hmm. anything you want is on display, really. And so it's the 25th, 6th, and 7th of March. Where is that being held at? It's out at the Civic Center, which is a newish building. It's, uh, it's big. There's a couple hundred vendors for sure. Oh, so. is that right? Yeah, wow. we're lucky to be the county seat of Brown County. So we've got the fairgrounds okay. and Civic Center right uh -huh. in town. So I'm curious, what happens as, as spring starts to roll around? You know, an asset, Bobby Ray, that we have is Martin Luther College. What they do in, actually, the week before the kids graduate is if they have nothing else to do, put on a neat outdoor play in German Park. German, oh, really? uh, German Park is beautiful. It's downtown, got a formal fountain and all of that. And uh, an, it's on a bit of a hill, so it's got a natural amphitheater. You sit oh, in this gosh. and the kids do Shakespeare plays. So yes. other things in May, it, you know the little town of Hanska. It's 12 miles south yeah. of New Ulm, very oh, Norwegian, yes. Yes. which yes. is, in fact, my dad was born down there. Oh. And um, they have a thing called Sitten de Mai. Sitten de Mai means the 17th of May in Norwegian. Uh -huh. It's their independence from, uh, from Sweden, I think in 1910 or something like that. Ooh. And that little town of 400 people puts on a show like you, I'm envious of it. Hey, uh, it's a, you you will love Sitten de Mai in Hanska. Now, I took some notes because I'm kind of a car nut. Oh, yes. And I understand you've got quite a car show in June, is that correct? You are right. This will be the 11th year. It's okay. called, okay. you know, with New Alms German bit, of course, everything's got to be fest, and so it's <laughs> auto fest. <laughs> sure. And uh, about 400 cars. It's one of the bigger car shows in the region, that is for sure. It's, it's not just cars. It's trucks, motorcycles, cars from all eras. It can be 1920s to brand new Mustangs and the likes. When one thinks of German food, also drink, outside of the beer, there's the wine. Morgan Creek Vineyard. Oh. Yes. I can't tell you exactly, although I should, as the tourism guy, I should know this, but uh, I think started in 1995 planting and their first product about 1999. It's located eight miles south of New Ulm. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful place. It is on Morgan Creek, hence the name. Yes. 
produce about 14 types of wine. As many have won awards, actually. Okay. And the, I like on Friday nights, they have wine down for the weekend <laughs> with a piano player and stuff. It's a, it's a beautiful setting. What a great setting. idea that is. I, yeah. I want to let you know that I was an official you were team. So, yeah. so you've yes. been holding out. You've been up in this been. area. I've been a big oh. great. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> I haven't been in New Orleans. I've been, I've been a big great. Okay. Morgan Creek. All but. right. Tell us about the, the Bavarian Blast and the Brown County Free Fair and the River Blast. Uh, Bavarian Blast is the biggest festival. It had been known really? for 31 years See, as I Heritage Fest. See, I would have thought the Fest. Oktoberfest would have been People bigger. think that. You're, but it's a reasonable but thing to Bavarian think. the Bavarian Blast is bigger. Yep. Okay. All Located right. on the county fairgrounds. Its predecessor was a Heritage Fest for 31 years. Okay. Which which a lot of people had been to that. And so uh, three huge tents, uh, not all German music, although plenty of it, and bands from Germany as well. But oh, you actually have bands come in from oh, yes. Germany. Very we, good. My wife and I have hosted many of the musicians. That's great. Okay. And those boys don't like to go to bed at 10 o'clock no, at night. No, they don't. No. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> but they've expanded into, oh, rock bands and country music as well, oh, things for fun. kids. Okay. Yeah, so it's become more, still with the German emphasis, but not entirely that. That sounds great. And that's in July. Right. The middle, uh, what, 15th to 17th, Fif I think? I believe it does say 15th through the 17th. Oh. Now, the Brown County Free Fair, that's in August. It's a traditional county fair. I won't okay. make it sound any greater than any others, but uh, I think from a New Orleans point of view, again, we're lucky the county fairgrounds is right uh, in town. I have River Blast. River Blast celebrates the reason for New Orleans being where it is. That is the Minnesota River. Uh -huh. It's held down in Riverside okay. Park along the river. Has evolved into more of a music festival uh, with a variety of music, but on Saturday, it's Friday evenings and then all day Saturday over Labor Day weekend. Saturday afternoons, they do crazy stuff on the river. They've had parades with any number of wacky things that can float. On the river? Yeah, guys dressed up like, like a six-pack of shells of beer, had the little caps and everything. It was hilarious. They didn't go anywhere. They actually sunk, but it was still fun. But it was still fun. Hopefully they survived. They well survived, yes. And I'm telling you, I've been up for your Oktoberfest. I and bet you had fun. I had, a, I had a really good time. I had a great time. Did you meet Mr. August Shell? I no, no. I met quite a few people that <laughs> that are <laughs> we're friendly with them. Very friendly. Yeah. <laughs> now you know when you are new to a uh, town, you depend upon maps. You depend upon signage. Does New Ulm have good signage? Well, just so to help us go to these different places. I think we do, but we're getting better. One of okay. the big things that's exciting for us is that we were one of the first towns to have the big welcome to your town sort of uh -huh, signs. Uh -huh. They're about 20 some years old and oh, really? And frankly are looking that old too. Oh, wow. <laughs> and we had been knowing this was coming on for a few years, but the big issue was like a lot of things, who's going to pay for the new ones? True. Okay. And so, after bantering it back and forth, finally the city government stepped up to bat and put in a lot of money. And this end of summer, I don't think there's a set date on it, we'll have four brand new ones put up. Oh, Welcome nice. to New Ulm. And nice. they'll be made by a local mm -hmm. company called Artstone, who does decorative concrete work. Okay, <gasps> great. Oh, pretty. <laughs> They've nice. done work in the national capital in Washington, D.C., really? so they've got some credentials. Well, Terry, again, we want to thank you for joining us today. It's been great. New Ulm is a really, really nice community, and I would encourage all of our visitors and those that have never been to New Ulm to please try and make a point to go up there. It's a, it's a wonderful place. Oh, great. Anyway, folks, we appreciate you watching the Cocklebur Morning Show where we weed out the big stories from throughout Sweet Swine County. Until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>